How's it going guys? I'm your host Carbine Gaming. Welcome back to a very special Adventure Quest video and for today's video we will be going through the Dragon Bone Phylactery. This is the Necromancer class quest, okay, uh, quest 20 boss, okay, so uh, once you beat this boss, you will unlock all of the skills from the Necromancer class. There is one more, after this there is the Core Arcane Reaper boss which I will go through in a future video but many of you guys have been asking for help for this monster which was why I decided to make this video and initially this was scheduled to come out like two weeks earlier but it's only coming out now because uh, I had to you know do the anims house guard thingy first since that was seasonal okay so now you guys are finally getting it hope you guys didn't wait too long for this video okay but uh, for those of you guys who are uh, who may need it in the future then this will be helpful okay so let's go through the monster first the monster has 95 MRM to each uh, damage type that is slightly above average so you might have a little bit of a harder time hitting it it has 70% resist to all elements so that is not very good okay because it just means that you won't be dealing as much damage it has boss boost plus 30 and it also has an effect that makes it uh, immune to fear but it can still hot the flow of power from the souls that power it okay so uh, it's a dragon construct and a golem okay uh, as well as necromancer tagged monster which means you can probably use your dragon blade here or a galanoff ally assist but i'm going to show you guys a, a, uh, this strategy without it so its attacks have an inaccurate lean but it gains damage and BTH every turn. This stacking bonus resets when it would be affected by fear which is otherwise immune to. So if you read the description here, despite its materials this sinister construct is not undead but technically a construct powered by a heavily shielded phylactery. Its power is slow to awaken but primal fear may disrupt its hold on the captured soul. So what you want to do is try and inflict fear so that uh, the... <coughs> Uh, the his damage and his BTH won't stack until a ridiculously high amount that you can't handle. Okay, and then its SP skill is a harm attack that heals it as it hits. So the more times and the more damage it hits you, the more it heals. So you want to try and prevent it from hitting you as much as possible. Every time it takes a hit, it adds the element of that attack, even harm or void, to a list displayed in its status window. It takes only 25% damage from elements that are in that list. Once all standard elements are in the list, this shield breaks for the remainder of the turn. The list is cleared and attacks aren't added to it until the next hit. So you want to try and stack up all the different elements if you can. Necromancer can make it easy to go through the shield mechanic by using gases or pets to use even more different elements per turn. Its drain attack also can't heal through barriers. So casting spells before it uses an SP attack can completely shut down its healing. Okay, so for today's strategy, what you need is a weapon of all different elements so of the eight standard elements any weapon will do it doesn't have to be the weapons uh, that I used here it just has to have the eight uh, standard different elements okay for pets you just want a pet of every element as well or alternatively technically I guess you don't really need a pet okay the important part here is the armor we'll be using the necromancer armor since this is the necromancer spell quest so you are going to want to have your necromancer armor along okay for the right here okay for shields any darkness shield will do it doesn't have to be this shield ideally it's a shield that is minus 26% to darkness you can just get a darkness shield from yoga shop that will work as well so you can see here my darkness is 13% okay with together with the spell slinger cloak for stats because you are a necromancer okay this is for a mage build if you're not a mage build you don't really need to do this okay so i'm going to showcase a mage way of beating this okay so i have 250 intellect 250 dexterity and 250 luck i'm technically a ranger pyre hybrid not exactly a conventional mage build if you're a conventional mage you're going to have 250 points in intellect and then 250 points in uh endurance charisma or luck i any any of the two of your choosing if you want more survivability endurance if you want pet and guest damage uh charisma if you want lucky strike damage and chance of going first go for luck uh for this necromancer armor uh, the best way to use it will be 250 intellect and 250 charisma okay and then the last 250 points you can pick and choose you can go luck or you can go endurance either one will be fine if you're a new or returning player i think endurance will suit you a bit better because you might not uh you you might not be able to survive that well without knowing uh, fully knowing all the mechanics so the extra hp buffer will definitely help out there okay so those are my recommendations now let's go ahead and start 
Okay, so we get the drop on the monster, which is good. Even if you don't get the drop on the monster, that is completely fine. Okay, so right here, I have the Necromancer armor fully trained up, and we are going to, mainly going to be using the Necromancer armor to beat this guy. Okay, so we want to summon uh, our pet and our guest first. So let's do Race Skeleton over here, and you can choose any one of your liking. I am going to start off with Deathless Knight. Okay, uses your weapons element, so... Okay, we don't want to use this, I guess. You want to use something that's different. Uh, Undead Beast. Okay, Undead Beast will do... I think this will do darkness damage, right? Yep, okay. And then we can do Grievous Weave as well. Okay, so we can toggle this on. So, Rending Weave, Bleeding, and Paralyzing. Uh, we can do both, right? Chill and Bloody. Okay, Rending Chill. And then next up, we can summon our... Uh, let me see. Summon our pet here pet is i can't remember what's the pet okay i have the 50 intellect toggle turned on here as well to boost my spell casting okay let me see here pet pet where is the pet is it anima attunement sorry i i'm trying to remember which one it is uh no nope, not haunting twin summoning yeah twin summoning okay so twin summoning i am going to do let's do death wait let's do Let's do Deathless Draco Leech here. So 6 between fire and dark. Okay, and then for this one, I think we will do... Wait, no. For the guest, I think we want to do something different. Let's do Wraith Work. Yeah, for guest, let's do Wraith Work. Uh, Ice and Energy. So let's do Ghost Ally for the guest. For the first one. And then main menu. Okay, now for spells, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and nuke it with the built-in spell from Necromancer. So I'm going to do Haunting over here. And because once it gets hit, uh, it only takes 25% uh, of the damage. So the best way to do it would be to just do, I guess we just do the regular Haunting. You can do Precise Haunting as well, but uh, if you want to be a bit more efficient, I'm just going to do the regular Haunting. Yeah, regular Haunting, let's go. Dark Haunting. Okay. And the guest is going to attack. Pet miss. Okay, unfortunately. Okay, so he did zero damage. And he didn't heal because we have the barrier up. And that's the good thing about this. Okay, so I think we want to switch either the pet or the guest out. Okay, so the pet is dealing... Now auto hit. Okay. Let's have it auto hit. Did he even land a hit? Let's just check here. So you can see here, now it's an element shield from darkness, energy, and harm. Okay, so we want to switch out our pet for something else. Let's see what other pets. Let, uh, guess. Guess for something else. Okay, Wraith work. So does it have fire yet? It doesn't have fire. So let's do Ancestral Wraith. Wait, no. Animal Manifestation. Animal Manifestation is harm. Okay, so we'll have it do that. Okay, have it attack with fire damage, and then for pets, pets, let's see, doesn't have, uh, do we have water or wind? No, no water or wind yet. Okay, fear, race skeleton, I think it's race skeleton, right? <clears throat> okay, the element seeking doesn't really work that well here, so I guess pets, you have to bring out your own pet. Yep, I am going to be bringing out a... Let's do ice for the pet. Okay, so for ice, I'm going to use this pet. You can use literally any pet. I'll just use it in the HP form because uh, right now my HP is full and I still have a barrier. So you can use any fire pet. Ju this is just to show you that you can do it with any pet, okay? And because my HP is full, it's not going to heal anything. Right, so weapon, my uh, spear of all here is doing water damage. So you just want something of all the different elements and that will work fine. Okay. Okay, now we have ice as well. All right. So now we are missing. What are we missing? We are missing wind. Okay. So let's uh do wind. Okay. So we have a wind pet here. You can use any wind pet. Like I said, it doesn't have to be the one that I'm using. Okay. We'll have it attack for wind damage. And then what other elements are we missing? Water, fire, ice. Okay. Earth. Okay, Earth Weapon. So I have Gloom Glaive for my Earth Weapon. And I can call off the gas now because the gas is not really doing anything. Okay, because it's the same element. You can have it out to do a bit of extra damage, I guess. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to do that. Okay, so I'm going to attack. 
and then the guest attacks. All right, so now that is all the element shields down. Okay, because we have the bleed. Okay, the bleed also helps with the harm element. So that's actually quite nice, and it also does a, a little bit of damage. Not a lot, but a little bit. Okay, so now we can go back and use. Let's go and use the haunting. Okay, so I'm going to use uh, the regular dark haunting. There we go. And then, oh, oh, whoops, I forgot. Okay, whoops, a daisy, I forgot, I forgot. Never mind. Uh, let's do Essence Orb here. Gain a bit of SP here. And then we want to switch out our gas for the energy gas. So the energy gas will be energy gas is Wraith Work, Ghost Ally. Okay, so let's bring out Ghost Ally. And then pets, we will bring out. Uh, let's bring out a fire pet. Oh wait, no, we already have fire. Let's bring out. Uh, let's bring out a wind pet. Yeah, let's stick with Spotter Drake here. It's going to do his SP attack next turn. I think it will heal a little bit. I'm not sure. Depending on whether. Okay, you can cast a spell also. So what I'm going to do here is I want. I rather stop it from healing. So I want a bit more of the barrier. So in order to get a barrier from Necromancer, you need to cast a spell. So instead, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to do precise haunting. It's an efficient darkness spell. Okay, so let's do that. So it's not going to be doing as much damage, but it doesn't cost as much MP either. Okay, so now we got a barrier three thirty three. And then now uh, it also misses us. Okay, didn't get through the barrier, which means that he didn't heal. And this is great news, guys. Okay, so now it also gains backlash. And uh, yeah, that, that's about it. So the backlash is only 25%. Honestly, you don't need to be worried about that at all. Harm, darkness, and fire. Okay. Let's make the gas uh, auto hit then. And then for ice and energy, win. Okay, so none of it hit. Right. Okay. Uh, let's go back to Spear of All. Let's do water damage. And here we have energy. And then here we have wind. Okay, so now let's hit it with earth. So I'm going to switch, swap over to Gloom Glaive. And pets, I will switch to something that doesn't require any upkeep. Uh, just to make it easier. Oh, this one does wind as well, right? Okay, now this will inflict choke though. Okay, I want to try and make sure that it doesn't uh, affect the whole course of the battle as much as possible. So we just switch to this gas, I, get, I think. Yep. Let's do that. Uh, harm, darkness, fire, water, energy, wind. Okay, ice. Let's do ice, shall we? Cometoid jelly. For ice. And I'm going to drink an MP pot here just to speed things up. You don't need the MP pot. It'll just be a lot slower without. So I'm going to use the MP pot, okay? Just so I can get rid of the shield. Okay, so now I've gotten rid of the shield. And I'm going to switch back to a pet that doesn't do anything to the monster. So let's use Underwhelming here. Okay, just a regular attack. Not attacking his SP. And now we can do our... Uh, haunting. So let's do the not the regular haunting, and this should kill it, I think. Oh, very close. Okay, three, three, two. Harm, darkness, energy, fire. So if you kill it this turn, it's not going to heal. Oh, there goes the weapon special. Okay, so yeah, unfortunately the weapon special killed it, but uh, regular attack along with the pet and the gas will killed it as well. And that is how you get rid of dra uh, Dragonbone Phylactery. Very, very, uh, I wouldn't say it's super hard, but yeah, once you know the mechanics, it's not super difficult. And all you really need, the key piece of equipment here is Necromancer Armor, which is the very thing that you're questing for anyway. So that's it for this video, guys. Hope you guys have found the video helpful. If you have, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. And of course, subscribe to this channel. If you guys would like to see more of such future content. Till the next time, I'm your host, Carbine Gaming. Peace out.